the James River, but that's where it all got started. And, uh, yeah. Then they had like, five more kids because she and Abraham had 11 all together. Wow. Uh, uh, this is cool. Okay, <laughs> so he just did, you know, he did a great job. And, yeah, did. and uh, so it was up, he did not have any of the color. Uh, he started this um, in 2001 in the summer. And he went all the way around and just had this duo tone. Mm-hmm. And, and he told him, that's, I think my favorite part up there was um, Jacob Mishu was best friends with Patrick Henry and James Madison. Mm-hmm. And um, so he was at all of those famous events. Oh, he just wow. wasn't an orator, so he, mm-hmm. his name really, but he signed like the Religious Freedoms Act of Virginia, uh, Jacob Mishu did. And wow. so then, um, uh, the, I don't know if you saw in the left hand corner of, in the back of the cemetery, uh, Joseph Mishu died three days before the surrender at Appomattox, and he was 20 years old. And um, there also there's a Revolutionary War Jacob Mishu, who was somewhere in that cemetery, but we don't know if he was there. Uh, and then uh, Dick Mishu, that was him. That, that picture was from 1915, and Happy painted a current day picture of him in 2001, where he was a three-year-old. And so it was such a great, uh, great picture, wow. and uh, that's the old barn that they built. And then this is Dick Mishu. He, they said that he operated in 36 hours when there were 300 men, and they didn't even know if they were Germans, Italians. Wow. He was in the Italian, um, uh, what do you call it? The field hospital? Or? Yeah, it was the field hospital in, in, in Italy. And... Uh, he, he never would talk about the Bronze Star. I mean, he just didn't want to talk about it. And, uh, but he was an amazing man. And there's a picture of the, the house you just saw. Right. And, wow. Uh, so, and then he just incorporated our family into it because he ran out. I guess he had extra room. <laughs> and, uh, so, but this was really fascinating because he um, painted this whole thing. And I would be working up there. And he would paint at nighttime. So, he would show up at the end of my work oh. day and he would paint all night. And I would come back in the morning, and he, on September 11th, uh, I was up there watching the TV, mm-hmm. and um, uh, he was not there that morning. But he, when the day after that happened, he painted the American flag up um, next to the house, and that was the first bit of color that he put into here. And he and I had this big because he was a complete pacifist, and I was like, push the button, fine, don't kill him. And uh, <laughs> so he and I got in this big fight over that. So it yeah. took us a couple weeks to recover. <laughs> <laughs>